Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principle. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, in today's video we are going to update our analysis on gold and silver and Japanese Gen. Uh, things are looking a little different. We would like to give an update on that regard. First of all, uh, let's do a quick thing um, about Euro, British Pound. We have, uh, I myself have a couple of trades running on Euro and British Pound. Although the price has not moved significantly up, we can still see the support is coming in here. And I gave a forecast yesterday that you're expecting for price to bounce back up right over here in this region. And that forecast is still valid. I'm still thinking that this is going to happen. It's not something like um, I'm taking lightly. Uh, the 15 minute chart is definitely giving us an indication that we probably are completing some sort of correction, which is taking more time. We can see a single wave ended right over here. So we can debate about second wave ending here and third wave ending here for the correction like W, X and Y. Or we can say if this one pulls back right over here, we can say we have W, X and Y. But we are still impulsive and corrective and this pattern is still valid. And we have a similar behavior in British Pound right over here. We have similar behavior. We have an impulsive and a corrective right over here. I'm still considering this as a corrective movement. If you want to confirm five, one, two, three, four, and five. I'm considering this as, as a, a lot of choppy price action. I'm still considering this as a corrective price behavior. Enough of that, but uh, we have seen, I have uh, um, made some more observations regarding gold and silver, and we'll look at Japanese Gen once we are done with gold and silver. So let's head, head to gold and silver. We'll discuss a couple of miners here, right over here with us, and then we'll head to Japanese Gen. All right, first of all, gold chart, okay. Now, let's have a look at uh, hourly time, uh, daily time frame. I was what I was forecasting that we were expected to push a little higher and then uh, come downward. There's a good possibility. There's a good possibility the ITX we actually have created a top right over here. So this needs to be updated right over here. Let me bring that back right over here, and I need to bring it right over here. Okay. And you would see why I'm saying so, that we have created a top right over here. Let me have a look on our hourly time frame. I've done some calculations and it looks to me that Japanese Gen have created a bottom on a smaller time frame. And we'll discuss that. I'll show you guys. And I think uh, gold is behaving in a similar way as well. Uh, first of all, we have a trend line that we are wanting to uh, draw. And we can see, uh, I did not see this trend line. I should have noted this trend line, uh, but no. I missed it right over here. So here's the trend line. We have one and two and three connecting points. So we can use this trend point and this one as well fell on it. And then price came below it. We kind of retested it as well. So this trend line is pretty valid. It got tested at five points right here. One, two, uh, three and fourth and the fifth one right over here. So there's a po good possibility that we have created the top right over here in this regard. And uh, I can, uh, let me have a look. We can draw arrow here, okay? And we can delete. We can keep this arrow still. We'll get a confirmation when price is below, drop below that. Since now US dollar is moving in against to where gold is moving recently, this is the recent trend that we have for a good while right now. So what does that mean? We're expecting Joro to be bullish that would mean US dollar would be bearish and then British pound is bullish against US dollar so the US dollar will be bearish. All that means right now that we have created a top right over here that means the pullback is expected right over here. Although we have kind of con con clearly see we have one, two, three, four and five or we can clearly say we have one and two and one and A and B and C a pullback is expected either way. All right, so pullback, a deeper pullback is expected. Can we go all the way right over here? We can go all the way right over here for the pullback. But I think right now that we have completed a top right over here. And that pullback is going to, I'm going to use that pullback to go short. All right, so I wanted to give that important forecast, but I'm going to wait for pullback uh, for a good three, two, three days till we actually see a top occurring in Euro and British Pound. So a pullback is expected, but we are not expected to create a new high. This is what my uh, thinking right now is. Uh, there is, as I said, there is a couple of possibilities. We can look at it. We can consider this as wave one and two, a smaller wave a three and a four can be configured easily. We can consider it as a triangle A, B, C, D, and E. 
uh, although when we did go beyond A but we can still consider if you want to push it we can consider it uh, or if you con want to confirm this whole price movement at wave 3 ending right over here too wave 4 does not go in that territory and if you want to use a leading diagonal you can say that okay this whole price movement as wave 4 in that regard we did see the first part going into the territory of wave 1 so you want to consider a leading diagonal is up to you too uh, the, the reading that I have done on the chart is giving me indication that a pullback is expected. The whole reason I'm saying 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 because so that not many people start using this point. There's a possibility that we can actually see a way deeper price action. Alright. So this is the update I wanted to provide. Uh, reason is I'm not saying that a deeper price movement is possible because we're expecting a strength coming in in Euro and British Pound. And I think the, the Japanese yen has already created a bottom. I will discuss that in a bit. Let's have a look at silver. And silver is giving us an, an indication where we can consider it as a, a and a B and a C. Uh, a deeper wave C is, can be expected. There is a possibility we can consider that wave C can come over here or it can go a little deeper as well. Uh, but right now I'm considering given the same uh, reasoning that we probably have created a top for silver right over here. Let me see if we can actually uh, draw some trend line and uh, get some ideas about what is possible. So here we can see that this straight away this trend line that we have used right over here straight away we did not have to force anything a very simple trend line and we can see that it at least got connected at three points. Two points are used to draw a trend line third point is used to get the confirmation of the trend line that's a valid trend line and we can see this is a valid trend line the good point is that this well this trend line has not been retested all right once prices fell through it we haven't seen a retest of it so giving an indication we can still use this as a horizontal support we can actually now wait for the prices to jump all the way over here okay there's a good possibility that we can see prices coming all the way over here and we can in some cases, uh, let's say that this is a 5 wave structure and we have, this is the whole is a correction. In that case, we can actually see behavior something like this. Okay, uh, A new top can be possible in silver. Uh, the reason is that would mean that the previous structure has yet not completed and the support line, uh, we can use the support line to get a, a top beyond that. that will, there's a possibility. So be really careful if you want to short trade uh, you need some uh, confirmation on on silver uh, we're gonna wait for gold and silver uh, we did get a really good pullback that one that I've talked about crude oil yesterday and I'm, I'm short on crude oil right now uh, I waited was waiting for the pullback the pullback did luckily happen with crude oil let's have a look and if some of you guys are actually want to see the chart and here is the chart and then I'll go back to m miners after this okay US uh, I mean cr um, gold and silver miners crude oil here is crude oils so here's the pullback that very good pullback happened and I went short right to here and you want to see how um, what what happened there's a small you, you got to do some work as well okay I can here is the trend line that I uh, we had okay I did not share this trend line but this is the trend line that I had on my chart of trading you guys see that one two and three points and then we got a confirmation we actually broke the trend line right over here and then we actually retested it so I went short right over here I think after the bounce I went short right over here and I think a similar behavior expected we should wait for the pullback in gold and silver and then bounce off would give us an indication that we can go short let's have a look at what's happening with the miners gold and silver miners it's pretty interesting situation I think uh, opportunity of a lifetime is ahe ahead of us as far as miners are concerned here I think right now we were expecting this to be kind of an I think a B and C and we're expecting it to go long further but instead we can see that does not happen so right now we can clearly see that this is seems to be the first leg of the correction the second leg of the correction either is complete or still going on and I'm expecting a jump in the uh, right over here too so jump is expected uh, in um, in wheat and precious metal and that would mean that we have completed the top right over here be really careful we need to do a completion of this we can definitely see something like this so be really careful okay we want this pattern to be completed and then go short we cannot just simply say where this is actually finishing so we gotta wait for it 
right now I'm expecting that we can we shall actually see something like this this is wheat and precious metals a structure that I'm seeing and now uh, metalla royalty went a little further deeper we can actually see that we have an A a B and a C is expected right over here so a smaller wave one A B and C expected right over here for metalla royalty that will give us an indication that a top has happened somewhere around 520 Okay, so just look at how the prices are dropping. It went from 520 to 440. Unbelievable. And it's quite weak already. MT Metalla is quite weak already. Let's have a look at Newman Corporation and see how Newman Corporation is doing. So Newman is not that bad as compared to uh, what we have seen in Metalla. We have seen the top at 46 and then all we saw is 45. So not that bad. Uh, we are expecting right now that a, pull, a push up is possibility right over here too. So this is, can be considered an A, a B, and a C. We need some more time. Can we create a new top? We can definitely wait. But uh, I'm providing a possibility right now. This structure area you guys can see as resistance area is pretty important, okay? This one area right over here, over here. So this area is pretty important and we have diverged off that area. So I think we shall be really careful with that area. And I'm expecting that when the pullback is uh, complete, we are going to go down. GDX is pretty interesting. Let's see what's it. Oh, so GDS was at 29.17, 29.80, and then we went all the way right over here to $28. So, you know, almost $2 out of 30. That's quite a bit. That's 2%, uh, 4%, 6%, almost 7% drop in GDX. All right. So, what's happening with GDS? A similar behavior. You're expecting a pullback in GDX. Alright, and I think that we have created a top right over here. Very, very interesting to see. We did see some strength in gold. We have seen quite a bit actually, but uh, miners did not move a lot deeper as gold and silver did. Alright, so that explains that miners are way weaker uh, than gold and silver itself. Let's have a look at Japanese Gen. Um, because right now I have a feeling that Japanese Gen and gold and silver are moving together let's have a look here is the Japanese Gen so here is the chart that you want to see uh, let's have a look on daily chart the daily chart is not labeled okay so here is the thing let me have a look mm. I wanted to bring some historic levels and uh, let's see if I can bring those levels oh there they are come on okay let me use the horizontal line to keep us 148 okay we can create a new high it's not it's just for reference section that's this is a historical high that we have right over here this is how I wanted to bring that let's have a look at the daily time frame and we can actually auto it uh, we need to increase the chart so we can actually see what's happening so this is uh, what I'm expecting right now we I'm clearly bullish on uh, Japanese gen okay and we can definitely see a new high there is a good possibility that we can see a new high in Japanese yen. This is what I'm expecting. Within the last move that we have right over here, say, a last larger move that we have, how the structure is going to be, we'll discuss that in the future. But I'm expecting that this is behavior we're expecting in Japanese yen. A bullish move is expected in Japanese yen. Okay. Let's have a look at hourly time frame and I'll give you some uh, labeling. Okay. Let's do auto right over here. okay so I think Japanese Yen has created a bottom right over here let me use uh, an indicator uh, an arrow so we can actually write over here so I'm expecting that we have created a bottom here in Japanese Yen uh, against US dollar and Japanese Yen is going to get weaker and weaker uh, against US dollar okay so uh, I'm considering this as wave 1 and A, a B and C Alright, this is an upside down chart of Japanese Gen. 
So we are expecting a pullback in gold and silver and we are expecting a pullback in Japanese yen. And that would provide chances for euro to go bullish and create a new high for this swing that we have. That we create, we are expecting for creating a new high and that would give a British pound a chance to go bullish as well. And uh, we'll see how things happen. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.